Hi, my friends. How are you today? This is Chi Ming from Singapore. Welcome to FFG TV. I'm so excited. I'm so honored today to be sharing to you on FFG TV. So, what is my topic today? My topic today is on how to invite prospect to our business meeting. I do not know about you, but this is this was a great challenge for me when I started this business 13 years ago. And I believe it is the same for many one of you who just started this business. I believe one of the great reason why we have challenge or why we have difficulty inviting our friends is because of the mindset that we have before we start calling our friends. We need to know the reasons why we are calling our friends. First, we must put on a business mindset. Now, a lot of us, when we started doing this business, we still use the employment mindset. We have to understand in business, we need to have turnover. We need to have sales. So when we need to have sales, we need to have turnover. Obviously, we need to have customers. We need to have people coming into our business to make purchase. So in a traditional business, advertisement is a very common way to attract customers. I did a research last year in 2017. Procter and Gamble P&G is one of the top company which invested more than billions of US dollars in their yearly advertisement campaign. So that is how business attract customers. So for us, network networkers, inviting prospect is a free way where we can get customers. So this is a know-how which we need to learn as a networker. It's a necessity. It is just like if you are a basketball player, you need to know how to dribble the ball. It's just like as if you are a golfer, you need to swing the club. As a networker, you need to know how to invite your friends. We have to understand this is a requirement in this business. So when you know this, when you realize that this is a need, you will not have fear to do it. Now, second is we need to know why. A lot of people, when they start joining this business, they do not analyze or they do not think, why do they join this business? If you do not have a burning desire, you do not have a very firm mindset on why do you join this business? Why is this a great business? You cannot share this business freely to your friends because you didn't even convince yourself. How can you convince your friend? So please spend some time after this video to write down the reason why are you in this business. For me, 13 years ago, this was an opportunity for me. I was 19 years old. I was waiting to go for my university. But I was more eager to be rich. Meaning, I'm looking forward to financial success. I was looking for passive income. I was looking for financial freedom. More than just going to university, graduating and getting a normal job just like any of my friends. I want more than that. You know, I want success. Uh, I desire to have prosperity in my life. So I foresee that a normal education, a normal job will not give me what I want at the age of 19. So when I was offered this business, I, I saw it as an opportunity. That's why I was very excited and I promote it to all my friends. So you have to have a burning desire. You must have a reason why you are in this business before you can have confidence with yourself before you have confidence with this business to share with your friends. So this is a very important key. I hope you spend some time to really think about it before you start calling your friends. So now, who should we call up now? Now, in my opinion, anybody who is of legal age in Singapore, for example, 18 years old and above, I believe they are all your customers. They are all your prospects. Why do I say that? Because actually everybody who have dream, who desire to have a better life, Financially, they are free to join this business. We do not have any requirements for anyone to join. Whether they are literate, they are educated, they are illiterate, whether they have any background, any experience in any job, they are all welcome. Whether they can speak English, Chinese or any language, even they are physically handicapped, they can do this business. So basically, everybody are allowed to join this business. So we should understand this and give opportunity to everybody. And... I realized that when I started calling my friends 13 years ago, I didn't have friends to call. I don't mean I literally have no friends to call, but I feel that I have no friends to call. Why? Because when I was about to make phone calls, I gave reasons to myself. This friend is too busy. 
that friend is not interested, this friend is too rich, that friend is too poor, this friend doesn't like to do sales, this friend will, you know. I give so many reasons for myself that all of my friends will not join me. So at the end of the first day, I didn't make any phone call, even though I have hundreds of names list saved in my contact number in my phone. Are you experiencing the same feeling as me? So I have this strategy after this experience. I first, I categorize my friend. What do you mean by categorize? Okay, list out all your friend in the all your friend in the same social circle. What do I mean? For example, write down all your name, write down all the friend who is in your primary school, secondary school, university, in your work. Write them who is in the same in the same community together. Why? Uh, surprisingly, people like to do free advertisement for us when we are doing in this network marketing industry. If you start calling your first friend in this same social circle, normally they will start to tell everyone of that friend in the same social circle that you are in this industry. And unfortunately, most of the time, they spread negative information, meaning to say they will discourage your friends to meet you, to even understand this business. So the way I overcome this challenge is to call almost every one of them a day after another so that I will meet them all quickly in case one of the friends call the rest of them and tell them that I'm doing this business. And you know, when people start to make assumptions about this business, they will not meet you and even give you a chance to share this business. So after you have categorized them, for me, I write them down on a piece of Excel sheet with their numbers. And remember, when you start to call them, call every one of them, one after another. Do not think whether they will join, whether they will come or not. Just call them one by one. That is the rule. Okay? So that is on who to call. So now when to call? Now it might be common sense to you, but let me just remind you, do not call them early in the morning. Do not call your friends in the wee hours at night. Why? Because when people are going to sleep, they might be busy doing housework after work, you know, taking care of their kids, their children at home. When they just woke up, you know, they might be busy preparing themselves to go out. Don't call them during this hour. Call them during the working timing, like the office hour. You know, these are the time when people are awake, fresh, and willing to talk to you. Okay, so that is when to call. Now, where? Now, if you have an office in your country, right, you can choose to meet them in the office. But if you do not have an office in your country, so where should you meet your friends to discuss? The best option is your house, your own home. But if your own house is not convenient, try to meet them in a cafe. Okay, in a cafe where there are less crowd, conducive enough, quiet enough for you to discuss business. I do not know, but some people, they have this thought that it's good to meet their friends in pub, in area where there's music. No, it's not a good suggestion. Okay, invite friends to discuss this business in a conducive environment. A cafe is a good choice. Okay, and now we come to what? Now, what is the what that I'm sharing now is... What do you think people are attracted to? What is their need? Now, remember, we need to get them out of their house to meet us. There must be a reason for them to meet you, right? You must be standing in their position. Why do you want to meet your friend? There must be a reason. So if we call them for a business, we must tell them why is this business important for them. So we must know the need when we are calling our friends. So if you do not know how to find out their needs, there is a way I used to do to identify. I use this simple formula, form. F-O-R-M. Form. F for family. O for occupation. R for recreation. M for money. Okay? Find out if they have any family issues. What is their job? Okay? And what is their hobby? Recreation. And if there's any financial difficulty. Through these four things, you will realize their needs. And from there, you can more easily identify the needs and the reason why they should meet you. For example, if you know that they are busy working every day, doing overtime, and they are yearning to have family times with their children, their families, their parents, but they do not have time. So when you call them, you should inform them that this is an opportunity for them to quit their job one day and have time freedom. So find out their needs. Uh, but of course, I will say to you, as you call more of your friend 
or as you have more experience in this business, you will get the hang of this skill of identifying the needs of the people and will give you a better chance to successfully invite your friend to meet you. So now let's come to the last question, how? This is the know-how, the technical skill now. So for this phone call, I have a few strategy which I always keep to every time I make this phone call. First, now I always keep it simple and short. K-I-S-S, kiss. Keep it simple and short. My phone call is always around 1 to 2 minutes. I know some of you like to talk for 10-20 minutes. Okay, but I do not think it is a good suggestion. Why I say that? A lot of newcomers, especially for friends that they have not called for ages, for years, they will start talking for 10-20 minutes, asking their situation, you know, their children, their family, their work, everything. And before they hang up the phone call, they start asking, can I invite you for a business meeting? Then your friend feel very surprised, shocked, in a very negative way. Meaning, they feel that you have a agenda when you call them. You didn't call them genuinely to actually chit chat with them. So they become very annoyed. Because a lot of newcomers in the insurance industry, in the network marketing industry, they always do that. Talk for 10 minutes and then start inviting. So in my opinion, it's good you call them straight away, let them know your purpose of calling is to invite them for to understand a new business. Of course, what to say, I will explain in a, in a few moments time. But my point is, do not beat around the bush. Go straight to the point, let them know that you are calling them to discuss a business with them. Now second, for me, I always like to make my phone call standing up, walking. I do not sit down behind a table, behind a computer and make phone call. The reason is because our energy is very important when we are making a phone call, our confidence. So our physical posture can affect our energy just like now. Now I'm standing talking to you. Imagine I'm sitting down talking to you. Maybe I will not feel so energized. But of course, different people have different uh, practice. If you find that you are comfortable sitting down, by all means. But if you find that you have not been very successful inviting your friends, try standing up, try walking. For me, 13 years ago, I like to invite my friends while I'm walking in the shopping mall because I feel relaxed. I feel like I'm doing something I'm doing every day. So I feel comfortable and when I talk, I feel natural. You know, it's not like I call people in my room. I feel uncomfortable because I don't keep calling people in my room, right? So do something that you feel that is comfortable while you're making the phone call. It will be more natural and it will be easier for you. Trust me. And so when we make the phone call, okay, there are a few key or keywords we should use or we should avoid using. For example, I will I like to portray myself as a businessman. So I like to use business term. For example, I say I would like to invite you to see my business. I would like to show you my business proposal. I do not use technical terms where a lot of networkers or people who are doing MLM, they use like marketing plan, compensation plan, my company name, my product is... Do not use this word because when you use this word, immediately you are relating this business to network marketing and that is what our friends normally link them up to. So try not to use all this terminology. And when you, start, when you talk to your friends, I will encourage you to praise them before you invite them. What do I mean? You see, people like to feel important. If you praise them before you invite them, they will feel more willing to meet you. I give you an example. Now, if you are my friend, I will say, Hey, my friend, you know why I call you today? Because when, when I know you, I realize that you are a very business-oriented person. I feel that you are a very business-minded person. I feel that you are a very positive person. I feel that you have great ideas. That's why I want to invite you because I believe you can give me good feedback, give me good opinion. That's why I want to discuss this business with you. You see, when your friend hear that phrases that you, you, that you said to them, they feel important. When they feel important, they will feel happy. They will feel no reason to, to excuse themselves to meet you. So try to have this habit of praising people. When people feel important, they will find it more willing to meet you. They will be great. They will be happy to meet you. Okay, so praise your friend. Now, so let's talk about what happened when your friend pick up the phone call. Now, a lot of people when they are new, 
either they do not know what to talk or they talk too much at the wrong time. What do I mean? Sometimes your friends are not free to talk to you, but you didn't give them a chance to say. So when they pick up the phone call, you blah everything up. And actually, they are busy. They are not even listening to you, right? So when, you, when your friend pick up the phone call, first of all, you must ask them this very simple question. Are you free to talk? Now, if they are not free to talk, what should you do? Hang up the phone call, my friend. But let them know if when they are free, do call you back. You have something urgent to discuss and hang up the phone call. Do not continue the conversation because it's not productive. Okay? So what if they are free to talk? Okay? You must understand your purpose of calling. Your purpose of calling, your purpose of making this phone call is to invite your friend. Am I right? Your, your purpose is not to share the business on the phone. So do not focus on the wrong topic. On your calling now some people they like to share this business on the phone i have this experience my friend asked me questions like what is this company what is this product how much is it and i answer every question you know at the end of the conversation my friend said okay i understand every part of it now i will consider if i'm interested i'll call you back did it happen to you so to my experience do not reveal too many things just keep it simple and short remember kiss so when my friend pick up the phone call, I will just tell them I'm calling them because of this business. I want to share with them. So sometimes they will ask you question or most of the time. Can you tell me more about this business? Is this MLM? What kind of product? What kind of company is this? So I like to answer the question with a questions. For example, I ask them this. Do you think that a big business can be discussed on the phone in five minutes? No, right? They will answer you. So when they know the answer themselves, you can tell them this. See, my friend, you know this is a good business. A good business cannot be discussed on the phone easily. And you know business is sensitive, especially when it comes to money. I'm worried that you might misheard something or I must, I, you might misunderstood some of the things I want to share with you on the phone. So shall we just meet face to face so that I could explain this to you clearly? So leave all your questions to the day when we meet. And is it okay? Let your friend ask your friend. If they say yes, okay, so let's pick a time. Now, you see, a lot of people, they have this challenge also. When they are making this phone call, they do not confirm a timing. Now, you see, to confirm a timing is very important. And this is a habit of a newcomer. Now, when their friend say, sorry, I'm busy today. Uh, can you call me back tomorrow so that we can fix a time? And these people say, yes, okay, I'll call you back tomorrow. And tomorrow you call. Tomorrow, what will happen? Yes, my friend, they will say, I'm busy again. Can you call me back again tomorrow? And on the third day, you call. You see, you haven't been calling your friend for donkey years. And suddenly, you call them every day. Immediately, your friend will feel annoyed, actually. Yeah, because you are not close to them, actually. And then a lot of them, they will start responding like this. Is this MLM? Is this some kind of things you want to sell to me? Is this some kind of investment scheme? Why are you calling me every day? So, I learned this experience and i always have a point to fix a time with my prospect before hanging up the phone call so this is a little trick or a little skill i learned along the years give them option don't just give them an open ended question when are you free they will never know when are they free and because you are never on their priority list before you call them remember you are the one that called them they didn't expect you to call them okay so give them choices you know for example, this is called choice of two. Always give a choice of two. Two is easy to choose. My friend, when are you free? Weekdays or weekend? Which are more, uh, which is better for you? Weekend or weekdays? Your friend will say weekdays or weekend. So if they choose weekend, Saturday or Sunday, which is better for you? Saturday. So what time is better for you? Morning or afternoon? Afternoon. Lunch time, one or twelve? Twelve. You see? In just a few questions, you have already fixed a time, fixed a venue. Which place is better for you? Your office, town, or near my place? Town. Okay. So you have already, you have already met the objective of your phone call. You call to fix an appointment. And you already fix appointment. You fix a time, you fix a venue. So you see, it's easy when you know how. It is not easy when you are lost. You do not know how to talk to them. So using this simple technique, or use this some simple strategy, I hope that you will find it a little bit easier to invite your friends. Okay, so after you learn all this skill and practice, 
Now it's good to know that you can invite more than one friends to a business meeting at the same time. Why I say that? Because in my, in my experience, half of the time your friend might not turn up at the time that you promise to meet. So it's good you fix more than one or two or three friends to meet at the same time. So in case one of them or two of them don't turn up, you still have one friend to meet. Okay? Because remember, we are doing business. Time is life. Time is money, right? So you do not want to waste your time. So in my experience, before the day, I will fix up a lot of appointment or a lot of my prospect to meet at the same time. So also, before I hang up the phone call, I have this habit. I will tell my friends, Hey, my friend, before Monday or before the day that we are going to meet, please call me to remind me. Why I say to remind me? Because I want to give them the feeling that now, actually, it is you who want to meet me, not me who is so keen or eager to meet you. It is just a psychology, you know, so that you don't sound like you are so hungry to meet them. It sounds like the feeling is neutral. You want to meet them and they want to meet you now. Okay, so on the day before, I will call them. And they will not feel surprised. Why am I calling them again? Because remember, before I hang up the phone call, I say, call me. Okay. And if they don't call you, you call them. They will not feel it. They will not feel so disturbed. Why are you keep calling them? Okay. And a few hours before the meeting, normally I will give them a text message. Hey, I'm on my way. See you later. In case they cannot make it, in case they are going to be late, they will reply you and let you know and update you. So these are some of the few strategy on how to invite prospect to meetings. I hope this can greatly help you to increase your success in this business because this step is extremely important in this business. If you cannot invite your friends out to meet you, you will never get a new team member. You will never get a new customer because you will never have a chance to speak to them. So I hope you learned this video you learn something and you can apply it in your business and it could give you productive result. So once again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching FFG TV and I hope to see you again. Thank you and bye.